What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling this cool looking space needle construction thing, well, needle in Revit and this will be just kind of a basic introduction into kind of complex modeling in Revit because in Revit you always go from kind of basic shapes and then you add complexity to it so I'm just going to give you an idea how to get to the basic shape of this uh, complex uh, object or uh, complex construction but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media as well okay so here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and if I move Revit out of the way for a second and if I double click this as you can see this is the image that I'm going to be using this is kind of an elevation where we can kind of get the the basic dimensions and this is I think this is a hand drawing or something it looks kind of weird or technical hand drawing but anyway it, it gives us pretty much all that we need for kind of a basic uh, model and here I've got another image this is just kind of a section or yeah a perspective section and this is just going to give us a basic idea of what this looks inside when we model just the the, the basic outside shape of this uh, of this kind of the the top of the house the flying saucer if you will Okay, but anyway, let me cancel out of that and let's go into Revit. And here, first, I just like to set the units, so I'm just going to set them to meters. Hit OK, OK again. And uh, before I do anything, we need to load the image inside, and this will be an elevation, so let's just go to South Elevation. And here, I'm just going to uh, kind of be copying these a bit, so just go to Architecture, go to here to Level, or you can just double tap LL, so and here you know you can just add a level so I'm just going to be using the offset tool and let's just add it 4 meters and at 4 meters so we need a total of 4 levels for this well of course it has more levels and we can add them later on but just for the basic mass shape uh, let's just use 4 and uh, the height of this building is uh, 185 meters so for the top level I just double click over here and you just type in that number and when we zoom out it's way over here and as you can see now the scale doesn't really work anymore so I'm just going to change the scale to 1 to 500 and this works a lot better and now I can select the top one and as you can see this little circular thing over here you just select it and you can kinda extend this just to make everything look a bit more uh, visually pleasing I guess and now let's load the image in place and let's scale it in place to to make everything correct so I'm just going to go here to insert image and then now we're loading the image in so I'm just going to go to desktop and this is the image of that needle and you place it like this and it's all out of proportion and out of scale and as you can see if I place it like this it isn't really straight it's kinda kind of curved to, to the, the right side a bit. So how do you kind of correct this? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to architecture and here we have this grid uh, tool or GR is the shortcut for grid. And I'm just going to add a vertical grid kind of like this. And once you do that, you have kind of a vertical line to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be placing this and you can use arrows for this just kind of Make sure that the center of this image or the center of this uh, drawing of this needle is in the in the basically the center of this grid line. And w if we go up here, as you can see, we need to rotate it quite a bit to to get it to be completely straight. So what you need to do now is you need to go to rotate or use the shortcut R O and then go here to um, make sure that this join and copy are unchecked and go here to place and then you place the center of rotation over here in this point and then you go all the way up and you kinda angle it like this and then you can or you can actually use the a a, a number so you can maybe go minus two percent or two degrees just to see what that looks like okay we should go to the other side so we can kinda place it so I think that going plus three will do the job let's see yeah, this actually does the job quite well. Yeah, it's not exactly perfect, but you can go here, maybe place. 
and then go minus point like two let's see yeah this is perfect now so as you can see that's how you can rotate this in place but we need to still scale it in place so what you're going to do now is you're just going to use the arrow keys to drop this uh, kind of ground point to the level one and we can drop this so here's level one so this is now at level one and it should be at level four the top of this antenna or whatever so you just go select the image go to scale or use the shortcut RE for that and you just select this part over here you go all the way up here to the tip and you just scale it down to level four okay so now this is kind of scaled in proportion and once you have this now we need to add some more elements so first uh, this is the hardest part this uh, the setup and if you want to get the complete setup you can go to my patreon the first link in the description and for only five dollars a month you will get access to all of my project files and this project file for for this complete project will be up there with all of the setup so you can get it there but anyway, let's just uh, now go again to the grid line and let's create a grid line over here. So kind of go like this onto the side. And let's see. So we should do something like this. So to the outside of this building, kind of like that. So do one of these and then select it. Type in double M for mirror with pick access. So that's this mirror. This is going to draw access mirror. So they're different. And now if we go into level one, as you can see, now we have these three. So we know where uh, where is the actual image placed. And we can maybe select these two and kind of make them centered. And now what I like to do is I like to go here and create another grid line kind of like this you just uh, you just select one of these and you type in CS and that's create similar so you create a similar kind of a grid line like this and now to create a circular grid you can't really do that you can only do kind of an angle and for that you need to go here to grid you go uh, the start and radius you go from here to here and then you kind of angle it like that and then you select it and again you go for this circle and you're just kind of extend it like that to get you know, the, the full circle effect okay so once you have this let's say this will be the oops so we did that we don't want that we want this circle so you just extend it and this is kind of a it has three of these legs so what you need to do is you need to select one of these and now go and go grid and create another grid line like this and this should be at 30 degrees so kind of like this maybe we can pull it inside a bit uh, if I can only select this okay so kind of pull it in like that select it go double M for mirror mirror it around this thing so now you have this Mercedes looking sign and that's that's what you want to have so now what you need to do the next thing is we need to actually copy the image to the either east or west elevation so let's just go to west elevation and here let's change this to uh, 500 yeah and let's extend this just a bit to make it more workable I guess and now let's go back into or south elevation okay this is where the the actual thing is and now let's adjust these levels so this one I like to add to place it kinda here and this one should be at this midpoint so I'm just going to extend it just a bit over here yeah this works so those are kind of the basic four levels now you select this image and you go here and you go to copy and then you go to the west elevation and you go to modify and you just go to paste and it's already there so you just place it there and then you use kind of the arrow keys just to kind of nudge it in place maybe it should be kind of like that okay this works now so now as you can see we've got this line over here so for that what we need to do is now we need to go to a either you go to here massing and site and you go in place mass or you can even use for this component and then a model in place so this is kind of a in, in place family you can pretty much use both of these because these are construction elements you would need to kind of do different styles of elements over this it's not as simple as picking a wall like traditional massing so you can go with an in place family so just go to generic model and let's just call it generic model one who cares so once you have that you need to go here to 
uh, let's just close these ceiling plants you go to level one and this is the one that this is the leg this one the the vertical one that's the one that we're going to be doing first so what you need to do is you need to go here to reference plane or just use the shortcut as you can see over here it's RP so RP and place a reference plane kind of like that and you select it and you rename it just to give it a name so you can select it later so let's just call it reference plane a and then let's go to the west west am I pronouncing that right hopefully I am anyway to west west elevation and let's just go to here to create extrusion and here this is why we named it so you open this drop menu up and here we have reference plane a so now we can open it and here it is so let's draw on that work plane so you just start from here kind of get the the basic shape of the building kind of like that and I, I'm just extended extending it just a little bit and you need to make sure you go to the to the level and you probably can't see the levels here because they're kind of blacked out but if I kind of attach it like this now you can see the level so that's important so you extend this you do the same thing over here you kind of do a little extension over here over the level so just to make sure that it's on the level like that and now we need to offset this so just do offset tool and let's go with two meters for this I think that works with the proportions so you kind of go like that and here you go like this and a little pro tip if you can't really see these lines you can actually change the scaling to like 1 to 1000 or even 1 to 2000 and as you can see now they're a lot thicker so you can see them a lot better so now I'm just going to type in TR for trim and extend that's this command over here so you kind of just trim this this is already fine and you trim and extend this part and you just hit finish and you go into 3D so this is what you get so I'm just going to select this and kind of extend it a bit and if I go into level 1 you can see this is what we've done so let's just kind of stretch it like that and let's now go into south elevation and you can't really see the image from uh, this uh, this form so you can either go here and go into wireframe so that's one of the options or you can keep it at hidden line but you can select it and then uh, right click and go over or no you can't do that okay sorry we can stay and just do like a wireframe and now we need to kind of create a void to turn this uh, turn this mass into our kind of a construction element so to do that you go here and you need first to create a reference plane for that so go to level one so we need a reference plane going like this horizontally so just type in RP for reference plane and let's just place it over here and this one was reference plane A let's call this one reference plane B okay go back into south elevation okay now it's time to kind of create that void okay so just go here to create you go to void forms and then we're just going to be using the void extrusion for this and now we pick a plane and as we rem probably remember we're just going to be using the reference plane B and you just hit OK and now uh, you're you need to remember that you're basically cutting out the uh, parts so you're just modeling the parts that you don't want to be uh, existing I guess you would say so first let's do the let's do one side because we have this kind of center line uh, in the middle so we have this center line over here so we can mirror everything around that line and again if you can see anything just go to 2000 and now you can see everything a lot clearer so anyway let's do the outside of this kind of construction and as you can see it goes kind of to this part to this uh, mid level and then it starts kind of curving out so it curves out to here but just to kind of make it more pronounced I'm just going to go to to this part and let's just extend it a little bit to this uh, level that we he have over here uh, then I just need to extend this to the outside and you just close it off over here so you're basically just creating the creating the part that you're cutting out so you kind of go like that and here you just go like this and then you close this off anyway now let's do the offset and let's offset it by two meters because that's what we already used so kind of do two meters okay and as you can see two meters might be a bit too much 
So let me just change that. Let's do 1.5. Yeah, this this works a bit better if you if you ask me. So now let's change the offset to 1.5 and do the 1.5 over here. Okay, that that works. And now we kind of need to close it off. So kind of create a line. Okay, we didn't remove the offset. Okay, now we create a line like this, and you trim and extend this part. And now you can select the whole thing and kind of mirror it around this center axis. Let's just remove the axis from the from the selection. You just add to the selection by holding the control and remove by holding uh, the shift key. And now you just type in double M for mirror and you mirror it to the other side. You delete the center po po point and then you close this off. And let me just close this off over. Okay, here we have two lines. We can do everything with one line, so that works. So you just hit finish. Okay, we have a problem. So you just kind of zoom out, and as you can see, the problem is over here for some reason. Maybe this isn't attached properly. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that was the problem. You need to just double check everything. Okay, this works. Okay. And now if I go into 3D, this is what we have. So you select these two and you're gonna extend it and it doesn't do anything. So you just go here to cut, you select this part, this part, and you get these two lines. But as you remember from the image, if I go here to South Elevation, it has kind of these uh, in-between parts or this construction elements, I guess you would call it. So what we need to do is we need to select our void, go edit extrusion, and kind of add those elements. So how do you do that? So basically what I'm going to be doing is, let's go over here and do an arc. So kind of go with an arc like this, and do another arc kind of over here. Yeah, over here, kind of like that. So what we're going to be doing is extending this to that kind of connecting these parts and these parts as well so we're eliminating this part here this won't be a void this will be kind of a full element and then here we need to add these construction horizontal construction bits wherever we have these as you can see over here so let's start from this thing and I'm not going to be totally accurate to the original design I'm just gonna uh, freestyling it a bit I guess you can say so now I'm just going to copy this and you just need to select multiple and you select over here and you copy it down here and here and a few more times like this and like that and like this and now you just need to trim and extend everything so you just go here to split element SL so you kinda split these two and then you use trim and extend or TR to connect everything so I'm just going to speed it up the, the rest of the process <music> And now we're done, so what I'm just going to hit here is finish, and if we go into 3D, this is what you get. Okay, so we get this nice little construction element going on, so we just now need to uh, kind of multiply it, because we need three of these. So you just go to, you just go finish model, you go to level 1, you select it, you go to rotate, you check copy, and then you go place, center of rotation, place it here, you go angle, and you do 120. And then you just repeat the process. So copy, place, locate it here, 120. Oops, that was 1.2. That's my bad. So let's redo that part. Okay, what's going on? Okay, I'm really not good at this. So copy, place, 120. Yeah. Okay, and if we go into 3D, this is what we get. Okay, this looks really good right now. So let me just show you how to do the general kind of top shape. And so just go here to south elevation. So to do this, this will be kind of a revolve shape. And now basically just uh, like we did with these legs, you're not uh, going for the final shape over here. You're just going for something to start off with. And then when you start modeling or adding floors and walls and all of those 
elements this will help you kind of stay in the gen general shape of the building you want to create so that's why we're creating these families or masses if you're creating them as masses so anyway so just go here to architecture component model in place so we can go here and go to generic model again let's just call it like that go into level one and now we need to repeat the reference plane process so just go RP for reference plane and kinda of place it over here we can call this R for revolve I guess go to salt elevation and and now go here to create and you go here to, for revolve and now we choose the name and let's go with reference plane R for revolve and first we pick the access line now the access line you just kinda of paste it like that sorry place it not paste it and let's just change the scale back to 500 because we've got these kind of small detail elements so we can see them better and before I start doing this I'm just going to move this out of the way and open this image up just to see the the gener general shape so we've got this kind of needle antenna thing going on here then here we've got this triangular shape then this is a floor then this is kind of a mid floor thing and then this is another I guess this is a restaurant and we've got this cool looking construction element on the outside and over here as well so we have the general idea of what's going on over here so I'm just going to maximize Revit and let's start uh, modeling so go to a line and now we're doing the boundary line so you start from the top of the antenna you kinda go down you go to the side you go down you go to the side you go down and now you start creating this shape so first I'm just going to do this kind of a as an angled uh, piece as you can see so kinda like this and the reason why I did it is so now I can use fillet edges and kinda fillet it fillet it? fillet it I'm going to fillet it in place that sounds really funny <laughs> anyway and now let's just offset it by something like 0.2 meters or 20 centimeters or maybe we can do something heavier so let's do 0.4 yeah this will look more realistic I guess kinda like that so we've got that part going on and then we need to do this part so this is the interesting part so this is kind of a uh, just remove the offset for now so this is kind of a cool part this is kind of the railing and then railing goes into this cool uh, space looking thing and then it just continues off like a regular floor I guess so I'm just going to kinda finish it off here like a floor and then maybe we can go kinda like that and here it's kinda just part of the railing and here of course we're going to fill it, it fill it fill it, it again okay so we've got this part going on and let's just do the bottom part so again I guess this is just a simple surface like that so I'm just going to go like this and for this part maybe go with an arc kinda like that and then finish it off with a line and again this is just the basic generic shape that you're going to be modifying a lot later on so just do the fillet part over here that works and let's do the wall that's kinda going let's do the wall like this so let's extend it and go from here and from here to there yeah I think this will work better or maybe go all the way down yeah kinda like this and then you just do split line so you split this part and then you trim and extend these lines like that so you kinda go like this you delete this line over here and here let's see what's happening are these two intersecting I think they're not intersect yeah they're not great and we're just going to trim and extend this part over here and yeah we need to finish this part off I almost forgot so kinda like this and go directly to the top of the space needle okay and just delete this part we don't need it okay I think this will work so just go finish okay there is a problem okay just trim and extend this part finish and if you can see it just try finish again okay here's the problem so just go SL for split line and then trim and extend just to fix this part finish 
okay it works now and if we go into 3d this is what we get but we need to do that kind of that cool uh, looking thing over here that's going on over here so let's do that and I just noticed this kind of uh, hollow so I want to get the same hollow effect so I'm just going to select this go back into south elevation go edit revolve and here I'm just going to do this uh, give it an offset of 0.1 kind of offset it like this and like that and then maybe do something like this so I just trim and extend this trim and extend that and do the same thing over here and trim and extend just hit finish okay now this part is hollow okay so that's what I wanted to have so now let's go to level 4 yeah that's the top and if you can't see anything you just type in VR for view range and you hit here unlimited and now you can see it and maybe you can go with a wireframe on this one so just go wireframe there you go okay so this is the part and now let's do that cool uh, void for that cool uh, kind of outside shape so just go void extrusion just do a basic rectangle and let's see okay this is the middle so kind of go like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the kind of the far outside of this and then mirror this around this axis delete this part trim and extend and trim and extend this part as well just hit finish go into 3d where is that part okay here it is so I'm just going to kind of extend it downward like that so this works and just go back into uh, level 4 so you just select this void and you go array then you go here for radial array and then you go here for a last and here for number let's do 10 for now and for ang uh, for center of rotation you go with this center and you just start from here and you just do kind of the half circle or even less and now you need to kind of select this point extend it to the other side and then you go here and you type in something like I think 40 will work yeah 40 works fine so just extend this kind of like that okay this works fine and if we go into 3d let's see that so we just need to cut this one out so just go cut and we get that cool little kind of a fence effect over here and then you would repeat that for this part over here but anyway let's just finish this off this looks really cool right now okay so I added a few more elements I added this kind of the bottom part and I added the elevator shaft as well as a curtain wall over here and some few more elements okay but that's how you get to the the general basic shape of the building and then you work on it and you add all of the construction elements now over here now of course this will be deleted uh, in the end but this just helps you to follow the the, gen, the general shape of the building that's that's why we did that so this is just me showing you how to create this type of a a complex model in Revit or just to how to start off a project like this and if you want to get this uh, model go to my patreon again first link in the description and for only five dollars a month you can get both this model and all of the models I've done so far over 130 models so far or and Revit families as well okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day